it's review day tuesday and today i'm going to be reviewing heather's the musical which is currently on at the other palace in london it's a rock musical with music lyrics and a book by lawrence o'keefe and kevin murphy and it's based on the 1988 film starring winona ryder and christian slater it's been performed in the us before most notably off broadway with barrett wilbert weed the soundtrack to that production is on amazon prime so you can listen to it if you wish to and it's now on in london as i say currently at the other palace where it is until august and last week it was announced that it's coming to the west end after that so that's pretty cool it will be on at the theatre royal haymarket from september to november so if you're able to get to london and you fancy seeing this musical that is where to go i've known of the show for about a year or so i would say i learnt of it through the soundtrack on amazon prime i listen to the soundtrack quite a lot it's one of the soundtracks that i kind of use to get me into the mood for composing. I have a few that I go to when I want to be inspired or I'm having writer's block or something. And that's one of them. So I have listened to the soundtrack extensively and I know the plot from researching it so that I would better understand the music. It was never a show that I thought I'd ever actually have the opportunity to see, so it didn't occur to me that, you know, I should try and avoid spoilers or anything. I just wanted to better understand the music, so I learnt the entire story of the musical. But when it was announced that the show was coming to the UK, I of course decided that I was definitely going to be going to see that. And I'm also a fan of Carrie Hope Fletcher as well, I've seen her in a few things and she is starring in Heathers, so there was no way that I wasn't going to try and get tickets uh, to this. And I hadn't heard of the film, to be honest, before I discovered the soundtrack. And I watched it for the first time last night because after I got tickets to see the show I decided that I would wait um, before watching the film. Anyway, that's enough about my relationship with Heathers in general. This review, like most of my reviews, isn't going to be spoilery, so I'm just going to give a very vague, brief and probably terrible synopsis of the musical. It's set in Westerberg High School in the 1980s and it follows Veronica Sawyer, who is played by Fletcher, who is frustrated with the cliquey nature of high school and she uses her talents as a forger to join a group called the Heathers, uh, which they're a group of popular girls in the school whose names are all Heather. She also meets the new boy JD, full name Jason Dean, and she falls for him and things take a turn for the murderous. I really enjoyed the show, as I said before, it was a show that I never expected to be able to see, so it was just good from that perspective, and although I knew the show and the story and the music pretty well before, it was really good and interesting to see it staged, um, and also to see the differences between um, this production and the others that I knew of. I'd never been to the other palace before, which is at Victoria, and I really loved that theatre, I'd recommend it. It had a very, very small stage and auditorium, and the show had a great audience, which really added to the experience. A combination of Heather's fans and Carrie Hope Fletcher fans. It was a really great atmosphere, and it really added to the show, and is another reason why I'd recommend seeing it live if you can. I'm going to talk a little bit about the cast, firstly Carrie Hope Fletcher as Veronica. I really liked her interpretation of the character, she was strong but also a bit naive, she was a bit nerdy as well and awkward which I liked, and her voice really suited the role I thought. I would say that the wow moments in her songs were in different places to in the soundtrack. Barrett Robert Weed has an amazing range, right? And a lot of the wow moments from listening to the soundtrack is from just the the notes that she can hit. And as I say, there are wow moments in other places in Carrie's performance and in Carrie's voice. If you're going to see the show to hear a carbon copy of the soundtrack recording, then you'll probably be disappointed. I don't know, I really enjoyed her interpretation of the character and the songs. We had Jamie Moscato as JD, he had a really great voice, one of those voices that you feel very safe with, like you know he's going to hit all of the notes. I liked how soon it was alluded to that there was something a bit off with JD, something a bit uh, odd or dangerous, and I also liked how it seemed like the audience were aware of it before Veronica. Jenny O'Leary as Martha was great, uh, she had one major number in the second half and she killed it completely. And and Rebecca Locke as Mrs Sawyer, among others, was also great. She had excellent uh, comic timing. She was one of the um, best comic actors uh, in the show, I think. On to the Heathers, Sophie Isaacs played Heather McNamara. Heather McNamara ended up being probably one of my favourite characters, which uh, surprised me slightly because she isn't one of the ones that I had honed in on with the soundtrack and, you know, knowledge of the plot. She was a great dancer, she was also very funny, she was another one with great comic timing. Tashan Williams played Heather Duke, and I think Heather Duke has my favourite arc in the show. She has one of the new numbers, which has been added in this production, and she was so great. It was a really great addition to the musical, I think, this song. Looking back, the previous productions seem 
uneven now without it. I really loved Tashawn Williams' voice. And then we had Jodie Steele as Heather Chandler. Again, I really liked her interpretation of the character. She was very funny and also surprisingly I guess the word is goofy as well, especially in the me inside of me. I found her very endearing. And the ensemble as well were fantastic. There were a lot of distinctive performances and characters. There were no real background characters. They were all recognisable. As I say, there were a couple of new numbers. The song Blue uh, on the soundtrack has been replaced, um, and I'm pretty glad it's been replaced, to be honest. It trivialises things which shouldn't really be trivialised. And I think the new song You're Welcome gives a better message. There are a lot of important uh, topics covered in this musical. Suicide, depression, abusive relationships. The show more or less stays on the right side of being offensive. There are a few little cringy moments, but there is value as well in... Um, tackling these subjects in the way that Heather's does. I really enjoyed the staging and how they used the small space available to them. There were a lot of small details which I really loved in this production. I enjoyed the transition between uh, Freeze Your Brain and Big Fun a lot. I loved all the slow-mo action in uh, Fight For Me. I loved how funny Carrie Hope Fletcher was at the start of The Me Inside Of Me and also just so many other things. It really makes a show, I think, the little things that you notice happening on stage. And it really makes you want to see a show again as well to see what you may have missed the first time round. That's annoying because I've just seen Heather's and now all I want to do is go and see it again. I will give Heather's the Musical at the Other Palace 4.2 out of 5, I think. I really enjoyed the show. I'd recommend it. I'm very happy that I had the chance to get tickets to see it. I'd be very interested to see how it transfers to the Theatre Royal Haymarket and what changes are made. And there hasn't been a press night yet, so essentially this whole Other Palace run has been kind of an extended preview period with the opportunity to change things I guess and experiment so I'd be very interested to know if it does change at all when it moves to the West End and you know does have a press night I guess we'll see I'm excited anyway those are my thoughts on Heather's the Musical I hope they weren't too rambly I'd be very interested to know what you think about the show if you have seen it and also you know the original film as well that's it for today let's move across to the end screen if you'd like to see some more reviews from me on my latest video then you can do so below me here and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you should wish to beside me here I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later on in the week